Trump dismisses Haley as VP, then strongly praises Tim Scott. The former president said that he and the former UN ambassador had reached a level of mutual verbal ferocity that rules her out from second in command as politicos debate who former President Donald J. Trump might choose as his running mate. A series of remarks in North Charleston sounded a little like a hint, while President Trump has discounted former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley as a vice presidential pick before his language on February 14th about his chief competitor for the Republican presidential nomination was memorably definitive. She will never be running for vice president, he told the crowd soon after opining that Ms. Haley and Representative Nancy Pelosi, D. Califf, both stink. He argued that he and the former UN ambassador had reached a level of mutual verbal ferocity, particularly on his part, that would rule her out as vice president. I hope nobody wants her because I think she's absolutely terrible, he added. I don't think anybody's very devastated. We do have a lot of great people, by the way, the former president continued, before a shout he heard from the crowd led him to pivot to praise of Sen Tim Scott, RSC. He's a modest person. I called him up because he was defending me on Deface the Nation, the former president began, using his typical satirical version of the name of the show, Face the Nation. I watched him, Mr. Scott, the other day on the Sunday shows. He's just destroying people for me, but he didn't act that way for himself. And he said to me, I find it harder to talk about myself than to something I believe in, something other than myself that I believe in. I thought it was beautiful, and I want to thank him, President Trump said. Mr. Scott is one of many names referenced in discussions of a possible vice president, but others, such as South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem and Senator J.D. Vance, R. Ohio, have often come ahead of him after Mr. Scott turned in a lackluster performance in the pre-primary presidential campaign season. His campaign received large donations from Oracle's Larry Ellison, who also helped fund Senator Marco Rubio's R. Florida. Unsuccessful 2016 campaign, President Trump visited North Charleston as part of his campaigning ahead of the South Carolina Republican presidential primary, which takes place February 24th. He spoke just days ago at a rally in Conway, South Carolina. President Trump's topics during that speech included Robert Hur's special counsel report, which drew renewed attention to the elderly leader, President Joe Biden's mental competency.